One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video guys. So this is just to show you kind of my version and how I kind of approach, uh, you know, stocks each day and how I kind of uh, figure out uh, how big of the range or uh, where should I take the profits, right? But this is just my way and, you know, uh, if it's helpful to you, you can apply the same thing, but, you know, it's it's really up to you. So, uh, yeah, so uh, just get into this. So first of all, uh, before I even get into trade, right? So I need to figure out where should be my entry will be, will be. Uh, and that's the most important thing, right? Uh, to draw your line, uh, you know, and figure it out, uh, how I want to trade that. Uh, and I mean, uh, for a short seller, uh, I always wanted to shorten a near resistance, right? Uh, the best thing would be, you know, the parabolic m kind of move. I don't want to be shorting, uh, you know, into the grinds like this one, like this. And uh, it's it's just like uh, giving me more edge uh, when I see a par parabolic move like that. Uh, and then it's the kind of stock that kind of dies, right? Uh, like basically the broken stock. Before I get in a, a trade, uh, and I should have a pretty decent idea where would be my entries and where would be my exit, right? Basically. And as you can see here, uh, you know, stock went from let's say five to all the way seven, right? So technically, uh, so technically, the range of this stock is like two bucks, right? So let me just cut it down. Uh, so the range two bucks here. Let's say it's only have like you know, uh, one point five. The ideal, uh, you know, target would be you know one point five to me, right? I mean, you could wait for for it to kind of tank all the way to this low, but I just want to kind of cover a little bit ahead of the major support or like you know uh like the last support kind of and uh on, on this one okay so i'm, I'm gonna scale from 6.5 to 7 let's say like that and i know beforehand right i'm gonna stop out over this 720 and my average would be i don't know somewhere around like 6.8 and my stop will be 7.2 so it's like 40 cents right so you can calculate that based on your sizing your account whatever uh, one or two percent, uh, whatever do dollar amount that you're comfortable with. So on uh, this particular case, okay, so <coughs> seven, uh, six point five and seven, right? So my <coughs> my average would be six point eight. So where would be the best case scenario for my target, and you know, or like for my profit taking? As you can see here, the stock kind of. Uh, uh, like you know put in like you know, pretty much like a line in the sand as you can see like uh, from this line uh, 4.3 and then f uh, you know 4.5 right so this is basically is you know uh, I think you know that's the best case scenario because uh, that's uh, you know that's the last support uh, you know before it kind of ran and also this is the line in the sand that's pretty much uh, you know if if you can get that target, I mean that's that's pretty the best thing that you could get from this stock. So I always look at uh, you know how much it ran and what was like you know basically the support of the stock. It's like this uh, trading is not that easy, okay? And uh, I know uh, you know even though uh, you know I'm I'm still struggling with that profit uh, you know taking as well because. Uh, you know i'm really good at, with uh entries but it's just what it comes to like exits uh i really suck at that and so that's why i try to kind of adapt to kind of my personal style because i'm not really that patient uh you know i have to go with the scalping kind of and for someone like bear you know uh, his main goal is like uh to uh try to uh have a position size uh, in here and then uh, try to be patient for the rest of the day, but I'm just not that type of person So that's why I have to choose something that fits my own personality and also uh, You know what I'm feeling comfortable with right? 
Yeah, so that's the idea before, uh, you know, that's the idea about the profit taking. You have to see the over picture of, you know, how big of the range uh, of the stock it could offer you, right? I mean, you know, this is the line, the sand around five, it went to seven. So technically you have like $2. And okay, so if you want to be, uh, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, like a, uh, try to take a profit a little bit earlier, maybe, uh, you know, for, for safe or bad, maybe it's like a $1 or like, you know, 1.5, but definitely not something that you want to cover like for five or 10 cents here. And, uh, I'm not sure. I think this one on the other day. Yeah. Uh, this one is, is pretty good. Uh, Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. We're going to see uh, the range uh, right here. You can see stock I went from one to like uh, 1.7, right? So basically you have only like, you know, 70 cents. And, you know, because uh, the spread is really tight and it's like the stock is really moving like one, uh, one cent, right? At a time and tons of volume uh, coming in. So on kind of those particular stock, I mean, if you short uh, right here, 1.7, you're risking basically like only 10 cents, right? So, I mean, the, the best case scenario on this type, you know, of stocks, uh, usually, you know, is under uh, two or under dollar. The best you could get is maybe 10 or 20 cents. And uh, so, you know, you, you have to kind of base on that range because you are risking 10 cents here. I so I think like in the best case scenario, like in the perfect world, you could get like 20 cents out of this. Uh, oh yeah. Miso. That one is. It's over 10, uh, you know, $10 kind of stock. And you can see here, you know, line is sand here, 11, 12, it went all the way to like 20. So basically you have like $8 of, you know, the range of the stock. So let's say you just being very conservative, uh, you know, you just want to cut down maybe $8. Okay. So $6 sounds good to me or even five. Right. So, uh, so you have to like, keep in mind that if you want to short here, you want to risk at least a dollar or two because this is just how the range of the stock or like, you know, how the stock kind of move and you have to kind of adapt to that. And, uh, and like I said, uh, there are three different, you know, trading style, either you scalp, okay. On something like, you know, $20, if you want to scalp that one, I mean, you know, even though you have a tight risk, maybe 20 or 30 cents, try to aim for at, at least, you know, uh, like 30 or 50 cents, right. Based on that, uh, that's a scalping basically to me. And if you are someone like Bear, uh, you want to kind of, uh, you know, get a good entry. Let's say you, you want to short here at 19 and then 20, whatever, right? So, and then risking $1. The worst case scenario is going to, you know, hits your break even point, and, but you'll still end up with some money, right? Instead of being uh, greedy. And then, uh, I mean, if you still not be able to kind of deal with that emotions, I mean, for someone like Bear, uh, uh, you know, who's trading all day trader, right? He knows his setup. He knows that out of 10 times, 20 times, uh, okay, so he, he's going to stop out, right? Some some of the days. So let's say he got stopped out like 10 times, but all he needs is, you know, only one time for the stock to kind of work for him, right? Because that one time is going to pay back all the 10 times that he was waiting for that stock. So you have to ask yourself, will you be able to do, you know, as he does, right? Or, you know, if it's something that you can do that because you're not patient enough, and, you know, so, so, so for someone like me, I, I you know, I, I just can't hold it that long. And I just have to take some profit. And uh, that's, you know, my personality and that's my style. And so that I have to kind of uh, find something that works uh, you know, for me, so I have to kind of adapt it a little bit. Sometimes I scalp, sometimes, you know, I try to, you know, get in with small shares and then try to hold it for a bigger picture move.
right but it all depends on a personality of the stock on this particular stock you will look at the range you know line the sand here too okay and stock went to four so technically you have two dollars kind of range best case scenario so try to be conservative about that okay so maybe one or one point five okay so the best i could get is like a dollar or a like dollar fifty here okay and as you can see you know four point two and then 3.2 dollar right another 50 cents that's pretty conservative way for me i would like to kind of approach it and you know it's been working well for me so and i just you know uh can be greedy uh yes sometimes you cut an offering you can get it really you know down low here but uh, i just want to put the probabilities out there and uh, try to you know uh, uh stick to something that's been working uh, so far uh, so guys, yeah, so um, that's pretty much about the profit taking today and You know like like I said, I, I don't have any rules regarding, you know a dollar to uh, three dollar stock and you know like uh, Two dollar. I'm gonna take 20 cents. No Look at the chart. Look at the big picture uh, see where the line the sand is and uh, basically uh, you you can tell the range right and it's really up to you if you really want to take the whole meat, like, you know, the $2 right here. Or if you want to be a little bit safer, you want to take like, you know, okay. So like if I could get a dollar off this stock is, you know, I'm pretty happy. So that's really up to you, right? And everyone is different. Profit taking is really hard. And sometimes I got a good entries, but my exits just sucks, right? N no one is perfect. So. Uh, so yeah, so try to find your uh, your own style, either scalp uh, and figure out the range here. Okay, so risking 10, 20 cents, you aim for like 40, 50 cents here, whatever, right? Whatever you want to choose. Scalping, all day fader, but keep in mind for the all day fader, you get a good entry and you have to be patient because you're going to get stopped out a lot of times, right? But those paper cuts are along the way. You have to accept that. Because you know when you are right, it's going to pay back that whatever 10 or 20 paper cuts before that. And all recycling, you know, uh, short here, risk, you know, uh, basically the same thing as gulp, but it's just like you cover down here, you wait for the new low, it's like add to winner, and then recycle the shares, right? And just set it for breaker even. I mean, it really doesn't matter what setup you choose, what kind of personal, uh, personal, style that you choose the risk management always comes in first okay the risk management is everything either i scalp here risking 10 cents or 20 cents here whatever right uh if you uh, want an all day fader you, you don't want to be shorting here okay i'm gonna be an all day fader i'm gonna short here I'm, I'm just gonna wait you know okay so no you have to kind of base on the facts that uh, you know the lines are working here now, sometimes it's better just to, uh, you know, just to take the paper cuts and then, you know, you can jump right back here once uh, you see a death candle like that. Okay, guys, so I hope it's helpful and, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, uh, it for the profit taking kind of video. And if you still have any questions, uh, you know, you can DM me at any time. Uh, and, uh, yeah, guys, uh, have a good one and i see you guys on next time. Take care. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.